She was generous, loving, kind. It's not enough words to explain how great Dan was for me and meant everything to me. Graham and Diane had just celebrated their 40th wedding anniversary when she was diagnosed with cancer. Diane said to me, when things get too bad for me, will you kill me? And I said, yes, I will, Diane. We, we, were, in, we were in tears, you know. And I said, yes, I will, Diane, but on one condition, that I die with you. I said, I can't live without you. It's as simple as that. And that's where we made our suicide pact. He's just been convicted of her manslaughter, given a suspended two-year sentence. He cut her throat, then attempted to take his own life. I, got, I said to Diane, are you ready, Diane? She said, yeah. So I did it. Every fibre in my body was telling me not to do it. But I knew I had to, the state that she was in. Told her I loved her. And then I said, well, it's done. It's my turn now. He was cleared of murder and is now calling for a change in the law. Euthanasia, you should be given an option. You need to have an option because Diane, when she was diagnosed, was frightened. I've never seen her that frightened in all my life. You have the right to be able to turn round and say, I've had enough and I want to die. But this expert in palliative care strongly disagrees. This seemed a particularly brutal manslaughter. It doesn't lead into euthanasia and assisted suicide. How does anyone expect our exhausted, compassionate doctors to carry the additional burden of deciding who to kill with lethal drugs? People need care. The judge described this case as exceptional, but it raises familiar, fundamental questions. Rebecca Barry, News at 10.